Hey guys, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Now today what we're going to be looking at here is putting your subject into a soft focus picture. The picture I'm using here is not really too bad because I shot this with a 35 millimeter lens shooting at 1.8. So most of the times when you get soft focus like this and when you're shooting out of the camera, what happens is you're going to have to spend money for good glass. We've talked about that many times on this show. Now it's good to be back and uh, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. There's a couple ways we can actually do this. You can actually do this manually by going over and making a selection, right? We can make a selection with uh, whatever tool we want to use. Here's a quick selection tool and we can make a selection of our subject. First, we're going to duplicate the background using Control J. On your Mac, it will be Command J. And we're going to go ahead and make a selection of uh, my grandson here. So we're going to just make a selection here. And as I said, this is manual. This is the manual way to do it here. Okay, so we're going to make a selection. We're going to come down his other arm here. And make a selection there and down to here. All right, that looks pretty good. Right here, there's a little bit of a problem. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, well, we want to add this right here. And then we'll go down here and simply on the tool panel, you can see where there's um, new selection on the left here on the bottom. Add, and we're going to go to subtract. And we're going to subtract a little bit of this off here just to make it look like a little bit better. Edit. We all know that the best editing is, is you taking your time to make a good selection. Okay, we're also going to uh, come here and we're just going to take away my sister's hands because she was holding uh, my grandson onto that uh, tractor here. All right. Once you get that, what we're going to do now is we're going to invert our selection. Okay, now to invert the selection, looks like that little piece is not up here. All right. All we have to do is go up and hit select on the top and hit inverse. Or you can use shift Control i if you want to use the keyboard combination. Okay, let's simply do that. And there's the background selected. Once you get the background selected, what we're going to do is hit Command or Control j again. We can see now that we only are working with the background. Now, once you do this, you're going to want to add a clipping mask. Okay. So we're going to add a mask and then hit Control or Command G. Okay, because you're going to group it just with this selection here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a Gaussian blur. So to do that, all we need is filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, we're going to blur this out a little bit more here. You can see now we're only blurring out the background, not him, right? Not, not my grandson. Click OK. And now that is very much that background is in a soft focus. Okay. It's very easy to do, and this is doing it manually. Now I want to show you another way that Photoshop Elements gives you to make it even easier on you. Okay, so if you don't like the manual way, you're like, Jack, that's really uh, detailed, man. It's pretty hard because you got to remember <coughs> to use your control G to group this up here so it's not affecting the bottom layer. So it's only affecting this layer on top here with that clipping mask. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and say, okay, well, very good on that. Not a big deal. So let's move on and we're going to revert this. So we'll go to edit, revert. Okay. Now what's really nice is Photoshop Elements gives you a guided edit tool to do this same effect. Okay. Guided edit. And let's see here where it's at. It's under special edits and it's called depth of field. Okay. Depth of field. You can see here where you're actually, if you show this girl, you got everything else in soft focus in the back. Okay. So you're shooting a different depth of field. Let's go ahead and click on that and see how this tool works for us here. See if it's any easier. So there's add depth, add depth in a single step. Okay. Now I don't know how this works. Let's see how this works. 
Yeah, it looks like you have to select the object. Uh, click Add Blur button to give the image a default blur. Okay. Then add a focus area. Okay. So what do we want to focus on? Obviously, we want to focus on him here, right? So we're going to add him. We see we've got his hat there. And you can just go across the body. Down his arm here. Okay, cross this arm. So all we're doing is we're just pulling out what we want to have in focus. Okay. So again, I'm not even making a selection at this point. I'm just simply drawing lines, holding my left mouse button down. Okay. Now we can blur out more of the background. Let's see if we can get the same effect we had when we did it manually. Yeah, I probably gave it a lot more than that. Okay, so there you go. You can see how quick and easy that was. Even the steering wheel is blurred out. All right, but let's go back to, let's revert this. Now we're going to do their custom. Let's do the custom. The custom is, now we're going to use the quick selection tool. We're going to add, so again, add him, my grandson. Very easy here to add him, just like we did manually, right? So anything that we're not doing now is we're not worrying about layers. And don't worry if you go outside the lines a little bit. We will fix that in a minute. Okay. There you go. So we added him in there. Okay. Very easy. Subtract. We're going to pull off some of this right here on the right side of his face. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Just dropping this down here a little bit, guys. All right. Pulling this in over here. Okay. Again, we're changing the depth of field, or as I call it, soft focus, okay? Because I want the background to be in soft focus, right? So you can see what the background is, but he is the focal point, right? Your grandson, your granddaughter. Uh, somebody is in the focal point there. Let's add this right here. It doesn't like to get around that steering wheel too well. Okay, that looks pretty good. I might want to take more of my sister's hand off here. I don't want her hand in the, in the photo. And uh, yeah, let's let it rock and roll like that, okay? Next thing we're going to do now is add the blur. Okay, here comes our blur. And we're going to just drop, bring up this blur. And there we go. So we just did it with the guided edit tool. So many people don't use these guided edit tools and it drives me crazy because it's like, we always want to be the expert, right? We want to do it in the expert mode. I always like to play around. If there's a tool, use the tool if it's going to help you out. Let's go ahead and click next. Okay, next is we can save it out. We can save as, okay. Uh, we can uh, continue exporting, continue editing. We can do that in expert mode. Let's go ahead and click on that. And there you go. And what it did, basically, it's the same thing we just did in the manual mode. Look, it created the layers for us. It grouped or linked the layers together. And it created a mask. And there we go. We have it the way we want it. To save this out for editing, or I mean for development, go to File, Save As, and just give it a name here. Uh, we'll say uh, Grandson. Edit, Edit. Okay. Save it as a PSD, it will save those layers for you. But if you want to get this developed or printed, you're going to have to either do a JPEG or a TIFF, depending on the size image. JPEG is a compressed image. TIFF is pretty much the full tilt of the image. Also, if you're getting this printed off, if you're putting this on the Internet, guys and girls, drop this down to 5. Right? If you're getting it printed off, go to as large as possible. There's 4.4 megabits. Hit Save. And we have that photo saved now the way we edited it. Folks, I hope this helped you out a little bit. I'm sorry I've been a little bit absent. Uh, I've been uh, very, very busy working on a lot of other projects. But you know what? I want to get this channel revamped, re-upped. And I want you guys to be able to learn again with Photoshop Elements with me as well as photography. And also, guys and girls, I'll be having some computer stuff on here. So it's just a really good channel for both of those uh, topics. 
and we're going to continue to grow this channel. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please click on that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. And till next time, keep your shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now, everybody.